Okay, this is a video to go through the first crescendo in Gavotte in G minor by Bach in Suzuki Book 3. Okay, so this is the third piece in the book. Now, this is a really lovely tune um, and not too tricky on the notes, so I want you to really focus on the dynamics and trying to tell a story. Okay, so here's how the first section sounds. So there's loads of dynamics in there, some fun articulation to look out for, and an ornament as well. Okay, so now let's just focus on getting that very first effective crescendo. So have a listen to it one more time. So I'm trying to gradually get louder through each note. So here's how I'd like us to have a practice of it. First of all, could we try playing four up bows on e using each note? Yeah, and then the down bow on the last note. Just even each note the same. Ready? Starting three on D, which is a G. Remember to use that low one and low two. Ready and up, 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 down. One more time. Ready and. This time, I'd like to use a tiny bow on the first note, a tiny bit more, a bit more, and I want you to have half a bow for the fourth note to get you to the frog. Okay, should we try that? It's a tiny bow. Ready and. Did you have half a bow for the fourth note? Let's try one more time. Ready and. done. Now, see if you can play really soft on that small note as well and get gradually louder with each big bow. Ready? Woo! I messed that one up. Let's try one more time. Ready and. That was better. Okay, now we're going to try it slurred. Okay? So very small amount of bow at the start. Ready, and. One more time. It's quite hard slow. You've got to have a really good control of your slow up bow. Ready. Okay, let's try a little bit faster, but still thinking about that bow distribution. Start small. Ready, and. Okay, I think once you've got the hang of that, you can do it throughout the song and you can also do the opposite when you get quieter using hardly any bow um, on the way down a crescendo. There's also places where you can do a more or less, which we've done in lots of pieces before, like musette, for example. So that would be here. Tiny up bow. Okay. Put all those skills together. And we can have fantastic, exciting dynamics in Argobot and G minor. Okay, have fun practicing that.